I have an old acquaintance who uh, I'm gonna have to have a chat with sooner or later, named uh, Lewis Brindley. Oh, okay. Teleportation. You know, it's like uh, it's like an antenna. Do you even know where we're teleporting to? Two, three, four. Uh, well, no, no. In all honesty, some other location. Uh, I've already got the clearance from the port of Minecraftia. Wait, am I gonna be? I'm just realized. Are you gonna make me your guinea pig in case this goes wrong? Well, have you, how many times have you done this? Um. <clears throat> Is How many times have you done it? The one, I'm not the one who's gonna get hurt. That's what's important, okay? Okay, but the, uh, I'm sure, surely you're not implying that I might get hurt. I don't want to get hurt. I make no promises, Parvis. Okay. That should be it. Get into the middle. Get into the middle. Okay, okay, I'm in the middle. Now what? Uh, oh no. Face, face the same direction as me. Okay. It's okay. We're heading out. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god! Please hit the water! My beautiful face! Ugh. 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 Huh. What ha where am I? God. Jeez. Ugh. Faceless tech. You can't do anything right. That's twice now that you've done something wrong take vacation just as soon as I beam down to chaos fill this time around you completely balls up the transmission Ugh. Ugh. Parvis Parvis look at that noob get off to Parvis Don't tell me I'm all alone out here Alex I think I might be alone I... I can't believe it. I'm without... I'm without free labor. Oh, boy. Well, given the way that the transmission ended, I suppose it's not too much of a surprise that it, uh... <sighs> flung us both in different directions. Well... I'm gonna start... Lucky enough to land next to a couple of apple trees. Well, I suppose it's back to basics. Get myself together, I'm gonna have to build a base. Ooh, so... Let's see. If I'm gonna start the base out, I should probably head further into a, uh... A good place to set up shop. Cause God knows that if I'm gonna see Lewis anywhere here, I can't be, uh... In a, ooh, wow, wow, that dropped a lot of apples. If I'm gonna see Lewis and I'm gonna discuss with him the fact that I've got lost, uh... Lost time, lost resources, teaching Parv how to play Minecraft, which, let's be honest, I don't even know if I was too successful at that. Oh boy, the sun's setting already. I definitely didn't land at a good time of day. I'd better head up into the forest and find myself a place to stay safe for the night. Okay, I've got the video equipment up and running. Uh, this serves as the video log of William Strife. Uh, owner and proprietor of, uh, CEO of Strife Solutions. I'm out on a new planet, and, uh, I have been surveying the landscape, and I have found a new location to set up base. Uh, this is probably going to become the main base of operations for Strife Solutions here on this particular planet. Hopefully this, uh, this video log will help some people in the process understand how I go about building one of my own companies, and, uh, also allow investors to understand just how valuable it is to be able to invest in Strife Solutions. So, the way that you can tell that I am always uh, recording my video footage and that I am doing a log is by the fact that I've got this nifty set of sunglasses in the middle of my screen. Now, uh, I have been surveying the area, and as it just so happens to be, I landed in this large, what's known as a seasonal forest. It's, uh, it's quite scenic. I've been doing quite a bit of foresting, getting my hands on uh, materials. However, if I want to... Oh, there goes my axe. However, if I want to properly set up a basic form of shelter and a place where I can begin building Strife Solutions as it should exist in uh, this region of the galaxy, I'm going to need more impressive tools. And to do that, uh, I'm going to need to make use of a mod called Tinker's Construct. Uh, Tinker's Construct has a lot of different things going for it, 
in uh, many different ways. I'm not going to bother getting too deeply into it, though. So, without further ado, I'll just go ahead and hop in, start working on what it has to offer. First thing I'm going to need is a crafting table. So, to engage in Tinker's Construct, the first thing you're going to need are sticks, and you're going to need planks. So I'm going to make a bunch of sticks here, and go ahead and split those. And sticks, in combination with planks in this pattern, gives you blank patterns. So I'll make a couple of them. Now, the next step is to take a blank pattern and put it on top of a crafting table, which I have already crafted here. Then, the next step that you want to take is put a log in and put a blank pattern on top of that, and you'll make yourself a part builder. Now, uh, there are more things that you can make, but those are the two absolute necessary. The other thing that you can make is a chest, along with a pattern, I believe it is, to make a pattern chest. Alright, so now that that's all been made, I have my basic materials created. I'll go ahead and put this down and these on either side of it. So the first step is to create useful materials. If I want to be logging this area out more efficiently, one of the best things that I can do is I can go about making myself a stencil table. I need a plank and a pattern on top of it, and then I can get myself a stencil table. So let's just pop this baby down right there. Where's the sun in the sky? I've still got plenty of time. We we'll go ahead and pop these blank patterns in here, and we'll use the next and previous pattern buttons to create parts for uh, various tools that I'm going to be able to use. Now, before I'm going to do this, I'm going to check over in the tool station to figure out just how exactly I go about building myself. Uh, let's see. Let's make a hatchet and a pickaxe. Two things that will, uh, you, which will be absolutely critical to me being able to build my base and um, log this place out a whole lot faster. In fact, let's just forget the hatchet and let's just make the pickaxe, which is a pickaxe head, a tool binding, and a rod. So, if I come in here, tool rod pattern, pickaxe head, and where do we have the tool binding? There we go, tool binding. So I can go ahead and pop these tool bindings, these stencils in there. And now I can pull them straight out into this and make myself a wooden tool binding and a wooden tool rod. There we go. Got some extra sticks in the process. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and make myself a pickaxe head with cobblestone now. Stone pickaxe head. This will give me a uh, item with stonebound as the effect. Stonebound means that an item, a tool that such as a pickaxe, which mines, will mine faster as it wears out. So there we go. Let's just call this the stone chipper. There we go. We've got ourselves a stone chipper. And uh, while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and make myself another chest. Pop that down and dump all of this stuff that I've been picking up in the process of foresting. And a lot of my other materials as well. I'm going to need to do a lot of uh, terraforming to get this place in order. Stencil table. There we go, tool station. Now with this, I will be able to repair my equipment on the fly. Now that that is complete, my next step is to head down and start looking for ores so that I can get some more proper tools up so I can start terraforming the land and getting this place fit for a place by which I can actually run a company out of. Okay, so uh, here I am. I've finished my uh, expedition mining down in uh, the depths of the earth and actually I have found out that I'm super, super lucky. I It turns out that I've managed to land in a location that is... Uh, it's sitting right on top of one of the old, one of three of the Ender Fortresses that exist in this world. Uh, standard vanilla Minecraft rules apply still. Uh, there are only three Ender Fortresses per world, and wow, I cannot believe that I ended up making my base on top of one. Um, or at least that I've taken the land on top of one. Anyways, in the process of working down below in the mines, uh, I've collected up all of these wondrous ores, and I've actually got more stuff than I uh, have chest space right now. So, like I said, I need to do some terraforming, I need to cut down a lot more trees, but that's really, really not something that I want to do with the standard tools, digging one block at a time. So it's best to make use of the extended Tinker's Construct tools. There are tools which will dig a 9x9 area, um, there are 
uh, implement uh, there are axes which will fell an entire tree in one single go. Uh, but in order to do that, you have to make yourself a crafting forge. This right here, the Tinker's Construct Tool Forge. The problem is that it takes no less than four blocks of iron, so you have to you need a lot of iron. Well. That would uh, take a lot of iron outright, but you can also double your ores, and the fastest and easiest way to double your ores at uh, this level of the game is to make a grindstone, I believe it is called. Here we go. It's from Applied Energi Energistics. This is a hand-operated grindstone, so it takes a wooden gear, some smooth stone, cobblestone, and citrus quartz dust. So it was stone, 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 with quartz, 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 and cobblestone on either side. There we go. We've got a grindstone. Now we're also going to need a handle, which, lest I be mistaken, it's just a bunch of sticks in an L pattern. Yeah, there we go. It's a wooden crank. So I'm going to go ahead and plunk this down right here. And here I can grind up to three things. Anyways, uh, I'll get back to you guys after I finish grinding up a decent amount of this iron uh, ore and the like. Okay, so the way that you do it is you take the crank, you just right-click and plot, place it in the top, and here you go and you ahead and put this stuff, uh, what you want to grind, up in the top, and the iron ore will, it'll automatically go into the center slot, and then it'll come out the bottom slot here. Um, then you just hold down right-click, and you will manually twist the crank around. Now these cranks do run out eventually, so... Um, and also this is terribly inefficient. It's an enormous time waster because you can't do anything else. But at the same time, whenever you're getting started, it works just fine, and uh, it's a fantastic way to uh, get things out of your way. Okay, so something that uh, I should probably also cover is the fact that the grindstone takes a long time to crush up just basically anything that you need into dust, and it's possible that um, you don't have that much time. You don't want to sit here, and you don't want to twist this crank manually for a long time. Maybe you don't want to have to, you know, create a whole bunch of different cranks. So something else that you can do is you can make something from the metallurgy mod called Stone Crushers. Now, the base level Stone Crusher, which is made with just cobblestone sticks in a furnace, this is actually really, really slow to work. This is unbearably slow, but it's a tiered system. There's the standard one made out of stone, there's the copper, there's the bronze, the iron, and the steel. The steel is the top one. Uh, they all run off of coal. But um, it's fairly easy to upgrade your stone crusher to a copper crusher almost immediately right off the bat. Bronze takes a little bit more work because it takes both, uh, it takes three copper and one tin to make the bronze to upgrade to this. And uh, obviously iron is super easy to get to, and then of course there's steel. So to nip this in the bud, I'm just going to grab myself, ooh, I already have some cobblestone. I'll go ahead and make myself a furnace and uh, create one of these stone crushers and furnace. We get a stone crusher. Um, next up is to wait on this copper to smelt up. And while I'm at that, I might as well uh, crush some more of this stuff up so I can get the bronze that I need. Okay, there, got all of the bronze that I need. Uh, well, copper. Now all I have to do is surround it in copper, and I get myself a copper crusher. This is uh, not the best still, but a whole lot better than the stone crusher. Now I'm gonna need this manganese ore to be smelted up, so I'll go ahead and put a couple of bits of charcoal in there. And as you can see, it moves at a very slow pace, not fast at all, um, which is why I'm going to be working on some bronze, which takes three copper dust and uh, one tin dust, if I'm not mistaken. So, there we go. And we got 16. It doesn't take too much of this stuff to uh, get what you need. Because you have to remember, one dust does equal one ingot, so whenever you combine four dust together to get an alloy, uh, you get four ingots. So I'll just go ahead and dump that in there. Okay, so uh, now I can, with this mang manganese dust that has been completed, I can combine it with uh, iron to make steel dust. This is super useful, super, super valuable. Go ahead and take this, pop it in there, and I think I left some coal in here. Just take two of those out and uh, pop them in the top slot there. And the bottom slot seems to be done. Tinker's Alloy is finished. Crusher. I'll go ahead and take this and surround it with the Tinker's Alloy. Got my Bronze Crusher. Now I'm not done yet. I've also got the Iron 
on hand to finish it off, turn it into an iron crusher. Now, the only level above this is a steel crusher, which I will quite honestly be perfectly fine not bothering with at the current moment. Um, let's go ahead and take all of this iron out of here and uh, just whack it in there, put it in. Now, as you can see, the iron crusher, a lot faster, much, much, much faster than that crop copper crusher. And I've still got a little bit of iron left in here. I'll go ahead and crush that up. I'm also going to need seared bricks. Now, these seared bricks are made out of seared bricks. So you need the brick blocks and you have to make the bricks individually. And the bricks themselves are made out of grout, which is clay, sand, and gravel. Now, I've already gone and collected myself both sand, gravel, and clay. So I'm just going to combine that together right now. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and pop that grout in there and uh, smelt it up into bricks. Okay, so I know I took a bit of a detour showing off the uh, grindstone and the crushers, but now I have all of the iron required. Here we go, just another iron block. I have four iron blocks. Now I can take this tool station and I can take these seared bricks that I made out of the grout earlier by smelting them up. I can put the bricks across the top, put the tool station, which is made by combining a blank pattern with a crafting table, and again, blank patterns are planks and sticks, and I can put the iron on the sides, and there you go, presto, I've got a tool forge. Now, where is it? Here's my tool station, I'll take that up, it's going to be useful for me later on, uh, whenever I'm down in the mines. The great thing here is that the tool station Despite the fact that this is the inferior version of the tool forge, it can still repair all of the equipment. And uh, actually, I'll go ahead and put this back down and I'll show you exactly why you have to make this expensive tool forge. So, the tool forge allows you to make these heavy duty tools up top that mine larger areas out, such as the hammer, the lumber axe, the excavator, the scythe, and uh, the cleaver. They take no less than four pieces to create them. Now the problem isn't that you can't make these pieces without the tool forge. You can make all the pieces right from the beginning with the stencil table and the part builder. The problem is that the tool forge is the only piece of equipment that allows you to put four pieces in it at once. The tool station only has up to three slots on any given item that you want to try and cra craft. Some of them even only have two parts, so you have to make this tool forge to get your hands on the uh, tools, which will allow you to mine out a larger area. Okay, so I just reloaded the furnace. Now that this is ha uh, now that this has all been done, I can come over here and I can grab a bunch of this cobblestone that I managed to get my hands on while mining. And while it is possible in Tinker's Construct to create a nice fancy forge that will smelt multiple things down all at the same time, uh, it's actually a really cool piece of equipment. The distinct problem that we have in this mod pack is um, Tinker's Construct Forge is a little bit unstable. It is likely to crash the server, and given my issues, god, with the uh, lag that I am having, as you can see, um, oops. I do not want to uh, engage in using any particular mods right off the bat that are going to give me such incredible trouble. Yeah, as you can see, I'm having massive amounts of issues with um, the server not responding fast enough for me. So, of course, that's not too big of a surprise considering that I am on the other side of the planet. So, the first thing I want to make is a excavator because I need to do some terraforming. I need an excavator, a tough binding, and a tough tool rod, so that's not too much to ask. Uh, I'll make myself a tough binding, a plate, and I'm going to be powering straight through the, uh, the cobblestone because these things are not cheap to make. Uh, the excavator head, and what was the other thing? A, uh, a tough rod. Oops, got that backwards. There we go. That's everything that I need. We'll come right over here, and we will create a excavator. Now, you can make these out of far more durable uh, items. With the excavator in hand, I can now begin to dig away massive amounts of earth and terraform the land for where I'm going to put up my makeshift base. Well, not really makeshift. This is going to be the house that I'm going to be working out for a long, out of for a long time. Okay, so before I uh, 
get on to terraforming, the next thing that I need to do is make a lumber axe to start clearing the forest more thoroughly because I'm going to need a lot of wood. And to make that, I need a stone plate, a tough rod, a tough binding, and a broad axe head. With all of that made, I'll just come right over here and I'll make myself an axe. Here we go. And uh, the efficiency of these weapons can be improved over time with uh, the creation uh, by putting redstone on them because that's the other thing that's really cool about Tinker's Construct. You can add things to your uh, items to increase their efficiency, uh, make them more effective and the like. So the next step that I have here is to, well, first of all, not die to the damn freaking mobs. Um, the next step that I have to do is to clear the forest away. If I go ahead and just chop, see, there you go. An entire tree felled in one go. Um, because we don't have tree capitator, it's a great way to circumvent this entire system. That was very, very strange. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and chop down a bunch of trees to, uh, make myself a base, and I'll get back to you guys once I finish clearing the land. And um, I'm probably going to remove this layer of dirt right here and start filling in the lower layers so I can have a nice, steady place to build a base on. Thank God. Morning can't come fast enough. Alright, so here I am again, and as you can see, I've done a fair bit of terraforming. I've leveled out the land, and uh, I did remove that raised bit of dirt, as you can see, because all of my uh, tools and crafting stations are now hovering in the air, and there's a spider on my property. Uh, I also had a bit of a scare in the middle of the night because this moonstone ore uh, dropped out of the sky, made a loud explosion, and scared the ever-living daylights out of me. Um, but something else that I noticed, uh, also, I'm really, really happy that I've got this uh, volcano on my property because the, uh, the basalt that it is composed of will come in very, very handy later on down the line. But I just noticed something right over here. Look at this. I have bamboo on my property. This stuff is great. And look at this. If I knock down the bottom... Look at that. Falls right down. I don't even have to uh, have the... Uh, large lumber axe to be able to get my hands on this. This is, this is fantastic. Now, uh... I do have this other problem of not knowing how exactly I'm supposed to get bamboo shoots, which is how you, uh... make these things grow. I suppose I'll leave that for another time. I'll, uh, I'll do some research, see how I go about getting my hands on bamboo shoots. Ooh, hello. Wait a minute, I see one over here. Let's see what happens whenever I break it. Yeah, there we go, I can collect it. I have one bamboo shoot, that's all I was really after. I'll go ahead and plant this up on the hill. And, uh, now I can go about getting... Uh, setting in on building my... house, my tower. It's actually going to be a small makeshift tower. Uh, cause, you know... What is what does a business work out of? A business runs out of a tower. A tower is the place where a business belongs. So uh, that's what I'm going to build it out of. I'll just go ahead and plant this bamboo shoot back over here, right there. And we'll see how long it takes for it to grow. But uh, it'll be a great source of charcoal later on. Anyways. To uh, build this house, it is going to be uh, 7 by 12 blocks, and I believe it's going to be 5 uh, blocks high. So, I've mapped it out with these uh, torches here, the edges of it, or at least this should be it. If I'm not mistaken, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yes, yeah, 6 away from the uh, edge, or roughly so. Um, so, this marks the edge of the house, and I want to have a cobblestone... Uh, pavement surrounding it. So I'm going to take the mattock right here. Not mattock, um, the excavator. And now it's just a matter of digging out the rest of the lower end, like so, to uh, completely excavate the area so I can put down the cobblestone foundation. Okay, there we go. So the foundation is 100% laid. Now what I have to do next is to uh, put in the walls and the struts. So I've got a bunch of oak wood that's going to come in handy for this. And I've got birch logs to serve as the uh, frame of the house. One, two, three, put one down, count two, put one down, and then that should be even spacing on all of this stuff. One, two, three, there we go. There. That, my friends, is exactly how all of this should look. Okay, so there we go. Now let's just top it all off 
with some uh, logs across to give it a little bit more of a sense of completeness. Uh, now for the actual material that is going to serve as the uh, the roof itself. I smelted up a bunch of cobblestone right here into uh, smooth stone. There we go. And uh, since I picked up the bamboo, I might as well do this. If I do that, I can get a block of bamboo and I'll make three of these. Stretch them across the top and uh, do that with the bamboo shoots. And now I've got myself some bamboo scaffold so I can get back up to the roof. Scaffold is great. If I just right click a couple of times. Server lag is uh, working against me. I can climb up the uh, scaffold quite easily. And uh, I can come in here and I can put in this stone across the top to serve as the roof. Okay, there we go. So the roof is complete. Now I can hop right back down. Oop, that did not go the way that it was supposed to. So I can also knock out the bottom scaffold and the whole thing just comes right down. Boom. And uh, the next step is to put some doors on, but for the most part, the, uh, the shelter is complete. I'm ready to go. I'm going to need to put some light in here, though. Uh, luckily, I have been smelting up tons of charcoal while building this, so not too much of an issue to fix. There we are. Home sweet home. What do you guys think of the place? I uh, still have to put some windows in, and I need to move all of the materials from outside to uh, inside of the building. But for now, I'd say that this is pretty good, and it's a great starting place. Uh, next time that I come around, I'm going to be working on fleshing out the company a little bit more, getting some proper tools in, getting some, uh, some ways to process ore, and uh, working on the master plan for what I'm going to do for building the Solution Business Park on this land. I'm going to have to do tons of terraforming, and uh, just building up this little bit of land here was quite the chore. Uh, I'm going to have to make use of massive amounts of automation and uh, machines to be able to make use of everything. So, until next time, uh, I am William Strife, here building uh, and creating Strife Solutions. Uh, probably going to be a... oh man... Probably going to be a major location on the server in uh, times to come. But until then, I will see you guys later. Bye!